hello everyone and welcome back to the channel yes honey you know we had to come <coughs> we had to come on him because those two were sort of beefing way maybe three or four years ago when jada was sitting out there um what you call it she was sitting out there boycotting the oscars because she felt that a lot of uh representation was not uh geared to a shining light on the black uh professional people actors or whatnot and he looked like count dracula i'm so sick of p diddy and his gay ass i can't stand p diddy y'all i believe he had something to do with his um his wife or girlfriend miss porter alleged death you know what i'm saying he just get on my nerve he always got to jump in people's videos he got to do you know just be well, he don't need to be, in a sense, if I must say so myself. But I can't stand Pete Diddy. I'm like, they ain't have nothing to do with him, but somehow he inserted himself into it. Talking about, ooh, they good. They good. We're going to eat and drink and be merry. And that, that, honey, they had even said that they haven't even spoke, those two, Chris and uh, Will, since the incident happened. You see how Pete Diddy just gets shit started for no reason? He need to take his happy gas and sit somewhere down. Really, sit some, sit somewhere. Okay, because I don't think he's bow or anything. I think he's just straight up gay. And he just need to come on out, let the people know who he is, what he's about, and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody know it. Everybody know it. But he trying to steal floss like, you know, he don't get down that way. But anyway, just getting off that. Honey, whoever saw the Grammys or was there personally at the Grammys, honey, they got a eye full and a mouth full. Honey, my eyes would have been sh like bugged as well as my um uh, my uh, mouth with my tongue hanging out. Now, see, Chris, I mean, we was enjoying whatever Chris was saying on that stage about GI Demi Moore at the time. He was referring to Jada as the new um. Uh, G.I. Jane or whatever. And see, they had took this photo before the Oscars. And Jada looked kind of like a witch or a vampire or something. She, she looked awful there. I don't know what they were trying to do. And we was trying to get indignant as well. So, I don't know. Did they come to start shit at the Oscars? You know, because, you know, representation of the black folks wasn't there four or five years ago. And Will didn't get an uh, Oscar. He got an Oscar snub. I don't know what the deal is, but that just wasn't a very good look for uh, Will, nor Chris, nor Jada. And I'm like, well, you got to stop, uh, you got to stop pick, picking up fights, you know, uh, because of Jada. And then you had your son out there tweeting, talking about that's how we get down. No, 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 that ain't how you get down. That's how you get an assault charge. And I just really feel like Will is part of that privy type that white folks get sometimes or majority of the times they get white privilege they pretty much do what they want to do in certain instances and you know it's just blatant racism uh and, and it's not saying all white people you know because all black people ain't cool either such as will thinking he can go up there and just slap the shit out of somebody now a lot of people say shit was fake say it was fake but when i caught it i'm like ooh, child I heard that slap, and I'm like, Chris, did you get your bank account money deposited prior to this incident happening? Because we'll slap the taste out your mouth. And if you had dentures, honey, them dentures would have flew off on that stage. And that would have been a, a mess, honey. You probably would have had people fainting out there <laughs> to see your teachers fly out. Because I know if anybody hit me that way, I would have to... Uh, Take my dentures out, honey, and put them to the side. Take my glasses off, and then we're going to get to rolling. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got time. Them dentures are expensive, honey. At least the kind that I wear. They probably go up there with them veneers that people be putting on top of their teeth. You know what I'm saying? They have that straight look and all this, that, and the third. But at least my teeth ain't going to be rotting because I ain't got none, okay? It's going to be my gums. My gums are very well protected, but it just is what it is, okay? But I'm like, he slapped the taste out of his mouth. And you talking about somebody would have been picking Will up like I was like, you know, picking up something on my shoulder. 
I would have body slammed that joker. We would have been rolling. Mice would have been, you know, falling down. Um, those little golden statues <laughs> would have been falling down. Woo, child, we would have been fighting. I ain't going to say we two elephants because they thin folks. So I guess you would say two snakes just sissing, hissing and, and slithering all across the stage or whatever. But, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it was... You know, a prop, it was fake, and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, child, he probably had ringing in his ears. His teeth probably got jarred. Uh, you know, he probably got stuck. Uh, you know, his socket may have came loose. I don't know, but, honey, when he was talking or trying to talk after that slap, you could tell his face was swelling, and he, it's like his mouth had got twisted a little bit. I said, God damn. You know, I'm like, what the hell was wrong with Will? I'm like, we teach our kids not to go, especially when you're in high school and maybe middle school. I was going to say elementary. When um, you, 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 you get into it with a, um, a, a, another kid or whatnot. A classmate or whatever. And they start telling mama jokes. You know, like, your mama's so fat. Your mama's so ugly. Your mama's so... You know, this... You know what I'm saying. We teach our kids to don't... Don't get into all that. Because they don't know your mama. You know, it's all them mama. Just let them go. Let it slide. Now, we are sitting up there. Chris Rock is a very known, well-known comedian. I don't like him. You know, he just don't make me laugh or anything like that. Now, Bernie Mac. Uh, Robin Harris. Uh, Gia Hughley. Cedric the Entertainer, um, I don't know what his name is, God, Schuler King, I think that's his name, he's a new cat, they make me laugh, you know what I'm saying, I get a good chuckle, I get a good inhale, exhale type of breathing going on when I'm laughing my ass off, now that's, that's what I'm talking about. But, uh, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, I was like, okay, I, to me, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Oscars, to me, as any other award show, is rich, ritualistic. I think it was a ritual they were performing, and somebody had to get humiliated. And you know, that's just my thought. Now I'm a bit, I'm a bit conspiracy theories as well, because if you look at the, you know, the, the body language they be using, and if you're a Freemason, they always like to tuck their hands in their uh pocket. Well, not their pocket, but in their vest part. Or, like, they're going inside of their um, jacket or whatnot and holding that type of stance. Just look up Freemasons. Just look up the hand signs and all that. Then you understand what I'm talking about. But, I was like, ain't no way in the hell Will could sit there. I mean, Chris White wasn't calling Jada ugly. You know, wasn't saying nothing out of out of the way really you know what i'm saying the only beef that i can think him and his her, his wife had was when jada about four or five years she was boycotting the um what do you call it the oscars that is all i can think of other than that when you first start looking at my video graphs and stuff what did you see will smell laughing get you know giggling and all that kind of stuff and Jada was somewhat in the middle of it all, you know, in the pictures and stuff. And they all seemed friendly. Now, why, what does a comedian supposed to do when you first sit your behind in the front row? They're going to clown you. They're going to make you a part of their show. Anybody that have went to a comedian show or com uh, comedy club, you know, don't sit in the front seat unless you got it all together. And if you got it all together... Then that's a different thing. If you ain't got it all together. And you looking kind of suspect. They going to be on your ass. For that whole duration that you are there. Or until they get. Uh, you know get off their set. And somebody else come on. And that other person might clown you too. Because you just that. You know. <laughs> you just got good material. That they just going to feed off of. But then they usually give you like. Tickets to come back for another show. Or different things of that nature. You know what I'm saying. To just kind of. You know, keep it lighthearted or whatever. But I'm like, they know Chris Rock. They know he go in. And to me, he don't go in like some, you know, younger uh, uh, comedians. And sometimes some seasonal, um, what do you call it, uh, comedians. But know how to, what do you call it, 
navigate the waters of what they should say and what they can kind of steer away from because it may not be where popular opinion is going to side with you so it was just really really weird when i saw it and then you know uh serena looking all stupid venus probably looking all stupid but i couldn't get a picture of her over some oscars you know what i'm saying but like i said if you look up rituals if you look at the oscars the uh, any of the war shows and stuff like that it's ri ri ritualistic so if you're into that you know what i'm talking about if you're not into that and you just want to know a little bit more go to freemason look it up uh you can look up bones and skulls it, it gets really deep but i was like man you would have to pay me a hell of a lot of money if it wasn't a ritual or anything you just came up there because you i got on your wife about becoming part of my skit that i was doing for the masses for the oscar show you came up there for one you it would have been a fight or flight thing and when i saw you coming up there and you were looking all kind of suspect shit i would have took off my shoe and you know whatever and we would have got rolling on that stage it would have been like somebody called 911 because somebody going to the hospital tonight and it may not be me but if it's me tell them to have my room with an IV set up and some real good painkillers <laughs> Because I was like, mm-mm, anybody in their right mind would attack real bad. They ain't sitting up there trying to hold, uh, what do you call it, to hold themselves together when somebody stood up there and slapped the taste out of your mouth. I mean, you could have saw spit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, because Will is definitely towers over Chris. And he got his body size weight under, you know, under his belt too. So he could have easily, you know, he could have. He open face slapped him. Now he could have used his fist for as a punch, but that probably wasn't part of the fakery and fuckery that was going on. If in case it was fake. Now me, like I said, I'm on this conspiracy side. Some in the milk ain't clean. Cause if a person come up there and do that kind of damage, how the hell are you gonna give them an award? Even though they probably did win it, but you have speculations and. Uh, specifications of what you can do what you cannot do to dishonor the whole part of being an oscar winner there's ethics there's rules and regulations you got to be pristine you got to be a, a very good person you know what i'm saying holding high caliber is what i'm saying you know so uh in this case we did not hold the look or the responsibility that comes with winning an oscar if i might say now me hell i would have took harvey wise things he wouldn't have kept none of his uh things that he won for best motion pictures and all that kind of stuff now when that shit came out on him about doing what he did and he's in jail now he is what he got took him wheels would have got took out like hey we would have shut the show down for at least 30 minutes to get this shit together because the prompt the uh, teleprompter stopped chris didn't know what to do he was looking all stupid and and embarrassed you know, like i said if he you know if he starts to come up real cool in his movies or or, or you know he's getting into some other type of financial reward that's given to him for taking that hit if he, you know, if he does start to come up more than what he is now, then you know it was a ritual going on. Now, if Will come up into some more movies and stuff like that, then you know it was a ritual situation going on. And it probably had everything to center around, center around humiliation and degradation and dehumanizing, de-escalating. A man. Now he already been a part of that group. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about the gay group. I'm talking about in the, you know, Illuminati, if you want to go and put it that way. But uh, he, uh, ooh, he just a funny boy, and I, I, I ain't talking about funny like in ha ha. And I'm sick of him. I, I, you know, but I had to put him in there because he always like to jump in his artist videos, his artist. Uh, going doing uh, interviews and stuff of that nature and he just mm -mm, he just too much I can't stand P did it but anyway that's my case not y'all's but I want to know what y'all think about this how do y'all react to this situation then you had Tyler Perry and Denzel 
you know, trying to talk the wheel on the side of what was going on, how it was going on, and what he did, what he did. And then Denzel even uh, talked to a journalist or a reporter that was out there on the red carpet about what had happened. And then Denzel going to say, well, it was a long time coming. And I'm like, well, no, nah, the boy is up there telling jokes. Or the man is up there telling jokes. How is it a long time coming? I mean, when you have journalists trying to ask you questions about certain just this uh that and the third of your life what you got going on this that and the third that's what you dare to do interviews for and this there's not aging real well is he guys i'm like what the hell is he finna get into another movie or something because i'm like damn his wife look better than him and he used to outshine his wife and everybody else I don't know. Denzel, uh, is he drinking again or something like that? What's wrong with Denzel? But anyway, I didn't like Denzel when he was talking about, you know, it was a long time coming. Like, it's okay to put hands on people. Because we try to teach our children. Don't matter what culture you're in. Don't matter what race you're in. To not be aggressive. Do not go out there and put your hands on somebody. Because it could lead you in the grave. Lead you into the being in the graveyard. Or it can lead you into jail time. Okay? It just is what it is. And they be coming for the black folk when they sit up there and want to do work on somebody that they felt offended them. They they going right on to, you know, uh, the jailhouse. Um, well, people of color is what I'm saying. We don't get that actual fair shake on trying to uh, neutralize the situation or say, you know, what well, this happened because of that. You know, so I, I really don't know. You know, I, it's, it's very peculiar is what I'm saying because... You know, when people of a higher level that will is definitely in tax bracket wise, financially wise, why would you feel like you needed to go put your hands on somebody? You know what I'm saying? Then to this and to the fact that Chris Rock haven't even filed a police report on assault because that's a felony. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Hold up. Just because Chris don't want to file it. Couldn't the Oscar Association file it? Uh, for Will assaulting someone, could they have not filed it? And I was like, mm, this is something. This is very interesting. So I'm like, is this something just to keep the masses from thinking about the Ukraine situation over there or something else that's coming up that we don't know about? Building up behind the scenes, but since we're focused on this celebrity shit, which I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I might be doing a video on it. Might have wanted to come to my family and see what they felt about it. But I still got my eyes and ears open to what's arising. What's coming over the horizon next for us. Is it going to be another virus? Is it going to be, you know, we all going to have to bunker down because Putin is cutting up over there. And Iraq is Russia turning the the, the, the uh, missiles here over on us in North America. Let, let us sister know so I can build me a bunker or something or get down and get a shovel and get to digging and stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Because I could care less about who will slap, why he slapped them, and this, that, and the third. I'm still looking on, okay, with this happening here, we got Ukraine fighting over there. What's really going on? What's next? You know, they finna jack the gas prices up by four more dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's really going on? Because anybody in their right mind, if you get slapped like that, you know folk gonna be tanned or something. You they gonna hell. You gonna get thrown in the crowd or you gonna you and that person that you're fighting with on stage, both of y'all gonna go tumbling off this stage into the crowd, okay? Cause we would have been fighting. We would have been scrapping. We've been tanned up shit. You know what I'm saying? All them Oscars that we supposed to be giving out, I'd be trying to tear we head up with it. You know what I'm saying? his whole body we're gonna it's gonna be some scratches and some bruises like i said go on and call because but we'll call the hospital because somebody finna get some stitches <laughs> you know what i'm saying or well, somebody finna get some cast on their body parts however you see but get the pain medicine on deck real quick fast in a hurry so when they transport me here i'm gonna need it okay because i ain't gonna be able to get out the car but Y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about Will taking matters in his own hands when he was sitting up there at one point laughing at what Chris was saying. But then when he looked at his wife and she had like 
looked at him like he don't lost his damn mind. Like you better get up there and straighten that ego out. Why he sitting up here and talk about me and my bald head? No, that's uh, you know, uh, sensitive to me. And I'm like, Jada, sit your ass down because luckily and blessed, you are nice looking to even have a bald head. You still look like a queen, and I'm not just saying that because you know you ain't got no hair on your head and this and a third. But no, you are a gorgeous woman. You could rock a bald head. You can rock a head full of hair. It don't matter. Your self-esteem should be through the roof. Because hair is just that hair. And I know in the Bible, the glory of having all this hair is, you know, is, is a wonderful thing. But, you know, if your body can't produce it, your immune system is not adapting to it and it's falling out, it's okay. Because God still made you be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't know what. I went to school. I huh? like, baby, I ain't going up there. No, nah, I'm not going up there messing with that man, okay? You know who you are. You know you got me. I love you. You love me. This, that, and the third. We don't care what Chris talking about. We don't care, honey. I'm trying to get my award and get the hell out of him. But, honey, we will change. He, he Like he did a 360 degree angle change. Got enraged. Called himself walking up on that stage like he in the wild wild west somewhere. And I'm like hello where's security. Don't nobody supposed to be coming on that stage. And then they saw Will looking kind of huffy puffy like he wanted to do something. Where was security? Where was Crick Rock security? Child. I'm like you can't just go slapping up on folks like that. Unless it was a ritual. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Because shit, people would have been, hell, I don't know what have been going on. I just know if it were me, me and him would have been rolling. <laughs> we would have been rolling on that stage. We would have been rolling on a hard-ass flow. We just would have been rolling. I wouldn't have let Will go by no means necessary. He would have been hollering, trying to get me off of him because I'm just still holding on, trying to uh, miss his punches and stuff of that nature. But I would have been holding on to that suit. So when he did stop, then I would go on and try to do some work to his ass. That's how I would have been. And the, the Grammys would have been postponed. We had to do a redo over situation. Because I would have been tearing up everybody, child. I would have been seeing red. Somebody came up there. And, and you know, he thinking he going to be doing something else. He hauled off and slapped me. No. <laughs> I'm like, damn, is Chris kind of funny? Is he got a little sugar in his tank too? Because I'm like, mm -mm. see, that's what I'm saying. Will was up there enjoying, um, you know, whatever Chris was saying, and whatnot. But when Will set up there, honey, uh, Nicole Kidman, she was like coming out. Her dress looked like she was getting kind of bony. Then you got Serena looking like, what the hell is going on? Why is Will acting up on on this stage on our moment where we're gonna get crowned or whatever? Because I didn't even know. After that shit happened, I went on and went to sleep. <laughs> and that was just like a good teaser for me. And when I woke up and, you know, watched the press and stuff that was talking about it. Because it, it, they sure were talking about it. They weren't talking about who won this and who got that and this, that, and the third. They were talking about Will Smith and that little slap he gave Chris Rock. And how Chris Rock took it like a G. Now, see... It couldn't have been no regular old okie doke person up there. Mm -mm, honey, they taking off all their clothes and whooping you with it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he they just saying he held it in stride. He took it like a G. Went on and did what he had to do. I think he went to the after party for just a, a peak show. Like, hey, I'm here. I'm still good. I'm Gucci. And then he left. They said Will Smith. And I did see some pictures. But I forgot to include them in my video. Will Smith was over there rapping. With his Oscar in his hand. I said that couldn't have been me. That couldn't have been me apart on the board of the directors. Hosting the Oscars. No sir. No lord. No god. We would have stripped him of that Oscar. He wouldn't have been on that stage no more. We would have put out a PSA. Like we do not condone it. We do not accept it. And Will Smith would not get on the stage no more. We are blackballing him. He would not be asked to come to the Oscars anymore unless he can prove that he was insane. Like he had a mental breakdown or uh, he just snapped or something. That would be the only way he would get in these doors again or be able to be nominated for anything again. Because I'm like, this is, it's not fair. You can't just go putting your hands on people. There's laws against that. Well, for everyday folks such as out myself, there's laws against it. And to me... 
I shouldn't be held accountable if you're not going to hold somebody that steal my color, but they got millions and, and billions in the bank. No, you, we can't discriminate. The justice scales cannot tip in their favor just because they have money. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, how we say white people have privilege just because of the skin color? Well, Will has privilege. That's the hand thing I was telling y'all about. He had it tucked up in his um his coat. That's a Masonic type uh, allegiance. And then you got all these V's and stuff like that. But like, I got, like I said, investigative. But ain't no way in the world you can put hands on somebody and then they still reward you with an Oscar. Okay? No, 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 no. We would strip that little man statue out of his hands. We would tell him get the hell on. Or we going to be prosecuting. We still might think. We still may prosecute you. Chris may not. But the organization from the Oscars boards will prosecute you. Okay. And we're going to see how good and fair you, you act then. You know, because you're a grown ass man. We don't teach our kids to fight. Well, at least some of us don't. I mean, I told my daughter, if somebody hit you, you better hit them back. You know what I'm saying? You better, if they try to do work on you, you better do work better. Uh, just to get her to know that people can't take advantage of, you know, her and all that. Not to say, you know, she's supposed to stand up on her be beating up folks every day, every time she turn around. You know, somebody talking about her, she slap, you know, she get them with the fist or the hands or whatever. You know, you know we can't do that. Okay? We can't do that. They don't know me. So that you, you should never get into somebody talking about your mama this, your mama that. They don't know me. They ain't sat at my table. I ain't never talked to them before. So don't fall for that trick. Now, if they put their hands on you, that's a different understanding. That's a different understanding that we have to, you know, let you go on and do what you know you need to do. And then call your mama, baby. <laughs> call your mama because then I'm coming up there with the fire too. But, um. That's all I have for this video, guys. So hopefully y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. I just don't understand how people that seem like they're in friends category. They're very friendly with each other. They're out playing golf together. They're being seen photographed, smiling together. How did they get to that point where we had to slap him at the most prestigious award ceremony? How did we get there? And was Jada Pickett a part of the mess? Because they looked like they was coming to start something from the beginning. How can Jackie Chan, Chris Rock, Jaden, and Will be so together? Okay. And then not together on this particular incident. <coughs> so get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all feel. And do y'all feel that <coughs> P. Diddy, Puffy Cones, uh, <coughs> getting too much stuff that ain't got shit to do with him. Period and point blank. Oh, I wish he'd just go away, child. I wish he'd go. Somebody slap the shit out of him. Ooh, whether it was for fun or, you know, a ritual type of situation. I don't care. But anyway, I don't condone violence. It just, he gets on my nerves. And then I don't like what he possibly may have did to his fiance that he kept being engaged to but never would marry her. That's kind of suspect too. Okay, very, very suspect. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Remember when you're coming into the house, ring the doorbell. That's subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed at this time, please do so. And as you're leaving, make sure you lock the door behind you. Because I'm going to bed as you all are going home in your minds and going to bed too okay so that's like closing my door you're subscribe um you're sharing my videos out and you're liking it okay and i will see y'all next time bye bye